Jason here, Blood Church. Uh, coming to you today. God bless each and every one of you. I hope all is well in your life. If you're not saved, get saved today by the blood of Jesus Christ. Going to take a look at Jesus um, in the book of Luke, chapter 24, verse 49 through the end of the chapter. And what we see here is his ascension uh, when he departed the um, the earth after, you know, of course, resurrecting from the dead three days later after his, after being put on the cross and put to death, which he solely did to forgive us for our sins, once, once saved, always saved by the blood. Amen to that. So here it says in Luke 24, verse 49, And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry you in the city of Jerusalem until you be endured with power from on high. Pretty much alluding that um, the Holy Spirit's going to come into them in Acts chapter 2. And he led them out as far as to Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. Wow, what a beautiful scene that would have been, been to uh, <clears throat> watch the Lord Jesus Christ ascend up into the clouds and into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy in verse 52 and verse 53 and were continually in the temple praising and blessing God. Amen. When was the last time you were continually praising and blessing God? Something to think about. And um, if you go over to Acts 2, we'll go there now. We see uh, the Holy Spirit come into the upper room. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in, with one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And verse 3, And there appealed un, appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, like as of fire, not, not, not fire, or baptism of fire. A lot of people like to say that's what that's about. It's not. Um... This is sort of one of the verse that goes with this one is Matthew chapter 3, 11 through 12, if you want to check that out. Uh, but like as fire, and it sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now these are Jews having spiritual gifts given to them by the Holy Ghost, and again, Gentiles can't speak in tongues. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under, under heaven. And now when this, this noise noised abroad, so everyone heard it, I guess, the multitude came together and were confounded because they heard every man, um, that every man was there, heard them, that would be the twelve, speak in his own language. And they were amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born. So it talks about all the languages in the next several verses. But wow, what an amazing... You know, blessing that these Jewish men that were now Christians, really the Christian church doesn't form. Uh, there's really no Christians at this time, but, you know, they, they are the early church fathers, I guess, the, you know, disciples here. But, um, you know, Acts 11, 26 is when you start to see the word Christian in the Bible. But, you know, here Peter is addressing Jews, and um, the only Gentiles present were some of the ones that were watching. Um, and hearing the um, hearing hearing them speak in their own language, and um, what a beautiful what a beautiful gift you know to have the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost come down and to every believer with the, with the, the Jewish Jewish ability you know because again God Father dealt with Jews physically giving them the ability to speak in tongues and, and so um, you know just a beautiful thing as we as we look forward to our rapture our blessed hope our ascension is what i like to call it because it will be us being caught up into the clouds to meet the lord in the air and to ever be with our lord god amen to that can't wait for that day so excited want to get out of this crazy earth um that we live in this crazy evil place and as, as it as it continually prepares the way for the false messiah the antichrist that the jews and others will be deceived by god bless have a great day